Huge crowds have stayed on the streets of Seoul. Politically, events have reached their head. But the febrile mood seems to remain. In a momentous step, South Korea's Constitutional Court upheld the president's impeachment, the first to be formally removed from office. The benefits to defending the Constitution by removing her from office are overwhelmingly large. Therefore, all judges announce a unanimous decision. We remove Park Gun hye from office. Pressure has been building for weeks. A majority of South Koreans have wanted their president impeached. I hope Park Gun hye responds well to the prosecutor's team's investigation and regrets her faults. Personally, I want her to go to jail. I think it becomes a situation that we can restore the minimum common sense and the basics of constitutionalism. From now on, I hope South Korea can again become a country where a higher level of common sense and justice stand out. A popular movement has grown angry with the president, but also the elites who have been running the country for decades. And with this woman, Choi Soon-sil, the president's close confidant, accused of leading her into an abuse of power and of using their relationship to entice millions out of South Korean conglomerates. Those commercial giants have also been in the dock. The heir to Samsung also hauled into court on charges of bribery and embezzlement. President Park could now face criminal proceedings. A country faces elections and the world will hold its breath because of events north of the border. North Korea has been launching new missile tests. These ones aimed, it seems, at US bases in Japan. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un making progress towards a missile-borne nuclear arsenal with which he could threaten the world. To stop him, the region and world powers need to show unity. But ahead of elections, the political infighting in South Korea is only just beginning. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News.